Don't think, just do. Horace. Nothing's beautiful from every point of view. A picture is a poem without words. He who postpones the hour of living is like the rustic who waits for the river to run out before he crosses. Horace. The pen is the tongue of the mind. Horace. Pale death beats equally at the poor man's gate and at the palaces of kings. Adversity has the effect of eliciting talents, which in prosperous circumstances would have lain dormant. Horace. You may drive out nature with a pitchfork, yet she'll be constantly running back. Begin. Be bold and venture to be wise. Seize the day, and put the least possible trust in tomorrow. Remember when life's path is steep to keep your mind even. Life grants nothing to us mortals without hard work. Horace. Mix a little foolishness with your serious plans. It is lovely to be silly at the right moment. Cease to inquire what the future has in store, and take as a gift whatever the day brings forth. It is courage, 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 that raises the blood of life to crimson splendor. Live bravely and present a brave front to adversity. Fidelity is the sister of justice. Horace. The lofty pine is oftenest shaken by the winds, high towers fall with a heavier crash, and the lightning strikes the highest mountain. Lawyers are men who hire out their words and anger. Life is largely a matter of expectation. Pale death, with impartial step, knocks at the heart of the poor and the towers of kings. The foolish are like ripples on water, for whatsoever they do is quickly effaced, but the righteous are like carvings upon stone, for their smallest act is durable. Horace. It is your concern when your neighbor's wall is on fire. A word once uttered can never be recalled. Wisdom is not wisdom when it is derived from books alone. Adversity reveals genius, prosperity conceals it. The greatest lesson in life is to know that even fools are right sometimes. Anger is a short madness. Fortune makes a fool of those she favors too much. Undeservedly you will atone for the sins of your fathers. You must avoid sloth, that wicked siren. Mountains will go into labor, and a silly little mouse will be born. I strive to be brief but I become obscure. It is when I struggle to be brief that I become obscure. In adversity remember to keep an even mind. You traverse the world in search of happiness, which is within the reach of every man. A contented mind confers it on all. Horace. A heart well prepared for adversity in bad times hopes, and in good times fears for a change in fortune. No poems can please for long or live that are written by water drinkers. Always keep your composure. You can't score from the penalty box, and to win, you have to score. Great effort is required to arrest decay and restore vigor. One must exercise proper deliberation, plan carefully before making a move, and be alert in guarding against relapse following a renaissance. Horace. Knowledge without education is but armed injustice. In laboring to be concise, I become obscure. Horace. He has the deed half done who has made a beginning. What we learn only through the years makes less impression upon our minds than what is presented to the trustworthy eye. Horace. It is the false shame of fools to try to conceal wounds that have not healed. Horace. Leave the rest to the gods. He who would begun has half done. Dare to be wise, begin. When things are steep, remember to stay level-headed. Once a word has been allowed to escape, it cannot be recalled. Your own safety is at stake when your neighbor's wall is ablaze. Sad people dislike the happy and the happy the sad, the quick-thinking the sedate, and the careless the busy and industrious. Horace. We are just statistics, born to consume resources. Strange, is it not? That of the myriads who before us pass the door of darkness through, not one returns to tell us of the road which to discover we must travel to. Horace. We are often deterred from crime by the disgrace of others. Whatever advice you give, be short. Horace. Who then is free? The wise man who can command himself. Few cross the river of time and are able to reach non-being. Most of them run up and down only on the side of the river. But those who when they know the law follow the path of the law, they shall reach the other shore and go beyond the realm of death. Horace. Why do you hasten to remove anything which hurts your eye, while if something affects your soul you postpone the cure until next year? Horace. The envious man grows lean at the success of his neighbor. Time will bring to light whatever is hidden, it will cover up and conceal what is now shining in splendor. Subdue your passion or it will subdue you. The one who cannot restrain their anger will wish undone, what their temper and irritation prompted them to do. Whoever cultivates the golden mean avoids both the poverty of a hovel and the envy of a palace. If you would of me weep, you must first of all feel grief yourself. O oh imitators, you slavish herd! Why harass with eternal purposes a mind too weak to grasp them? Suffering is but another name for the teaching of experience, which is the parent of instruction and the schoolmaster of life. Horace. He is armed without who is innocent within, be this thy screen, and this thy wall of brass. 
This is a fault common to all singers, that among their friends they will never sing when they are asked, unasked, they will never desist. It is of no consequence of what parents a man is born, as long as he be a man of merit. I never think at all when I write. Nobody can do two things at the same time and do them both well. Refrain from asking what going to happen tomorrow, and every day that fortune grants you, count as gain. Horace. He has not lived badly whose birth and death has been unnoticed by the world. Choose a subject equal to your abilities, think carefully what your shoulders may refuse, and what they are capable of bearing. Horace. A good and faithful judge ever prefers the honorable to the expedient. Horace. Usually the modest person passes for someone reserved, the silent for a sullen person. A shoe that is too large is apt to trip one, and when too small, to pinch the feet. So it is with those whose fortune does not suit them. Horace. Let your literary compositions be kept from the public eye for nine years at least. He tosses aside his paint pots and his words a foot and a half long. One wanders to the left, another to the right. Both are equally in error, but, are seduced by different delusions. Horace. Labor diligently to increase your property. Avoid inquisitive persons, for they are sure to be gossips, their ears are open to hear, but they will not keep what is entrusted to them. If matters go badly now, they will not always be so. A word, once sent abroad, flies irrevocably. To have a great man for a friend seems pleasant to those who have never tried it, those who have, fear it. It is your business when the wall next door catches fire. We rarely find anyone who can say he has lived a happy life, and who, content with his life, can retire from the world like a satisfied guest. Horace. I hate the irreverent rabble and keep them far from me. A portion of mankind take pride in their vices and pursue their purpose, many more waver between doing what is right and complying with what is wrong. Horace. Money is a handmaiden, if thou knowest how to use it, a mistress, if thou knowest not. Horace. Words will not fail when the matter is well considered. While fools shun one set of faults they run into the opposite one. We are free to yield to truth. A host is like a general, calamities often reveal his genius. Good sense is both the first principle and the parent source of good writing. Only a stomach that rarely feels hungry scorns common things. Clogged with yesterday's excess, the body drags the mind down with it. Every old poem is sacred. I teach that all men are mad. Horace. Poets wish to profit or to please. If a man's fortune does not fit him, it is like the shoe in the story, if too large it trips him up, if too small it pinches him. Horace. It's a good thing to be foolishly gay once in a while. It is a sweet and seemly thing to die for one's country. It is no great art to say something briefly when, like Tacitus, one has something to say, when one has nothing to say, however, and nonetheless writes a whole book and makes truth into a liar, that I call an achievement. Horace. He gains everyone's approval who mixes the pleasant with the useful. Horace. No verse can give pleasure for long, nor last, that is written by drinkers of water. Make a good use of the present. The disgrace of others often keeps tender minds from vice. The power of daring anything their fancy suggest, has always been conceded to the painter and the poet. The man is either mad, or he is making verses. Horace. Horace. Horace, Quintus Horatius Flaccus, was a Roman poet, satirist, and critic. Born in Venusia in southeast Italy in 65 BCE to an Italian freedman and landowner, he was sent to Rome for schooling and was later in Athens studying philosophy when Caesar was assassinated. Porus joined Brutus's army and later claimed to have thrown away his shield in his panic to escape. Returning to Rome, Porus began his career as a scribe, employment that gave him time to write. He befriended poets and important figures of his day such as Virgil and the Emperor Augustus, and he eventually achieved great renown. Porus is known for detailed self-portraits in genres such as epodes, satires and epistles, and lyrics. By offering a poetic persona who speaks to so many human concerns, Horace has encouraged each reader to feel that he or she is one of the poet's circle, a friend in whom he confides. Horace's life, however, is as much masked as revealed by his confessional narratives, which present a literary autobiography, the author as he wishes his audience to view him. The poet's delight in shifting perspectives also serves as a reminder that the poetic eye gives voice to a persona and mood only of the moment. Perhaps the greatest irony of the poet who so relished irony is that by constantly talking about himself, he has left a portrait of a man varying not only from generation to generation but also from reader to reader. Horace was born in southeast Italy on the border between Lucania and Apulia, modern Puglia, where the Romans had founded a colony in 291 BCE after the Third Samnite War. Horace's father was not necessarily a slave who was later freed by his master. 
Venusia, typical of the towns to the south of Rome, provided a barricade between Rome and potentially hostile neighbors. In 91 BCE the citizens of many towns such as Venusia revolted against their alliance with Rome. Venusia joined the revolt in 90 BCE.